From catering to office supplies, we found some small businesses are cashing in. WC Sales Liz Collin joins us with the economic boom a Super Bowl program has provided to some mom and pop shops. That's good to see, Liz. It is, Frank. It's part of the NFL's Business Connect program focused on giving minority, women, veteran, and LGBT business owners Super Bowl contracts. Nearly a thousand business owners made their pitch last spring. We talked to just a few of the 400 places selected to be a part of all it takes to put this on. Their small kitchen in Brooklyn Park has only been stacking sandwiches for two years, but their tractor slider and mac and cheese will soon be tasted by some of the biggest names around. You're going to taste some really good barbecue and some really good food from us at this event. Fat Chance Restaurant will serve up 3,000 orders at the tailgate party for VIPs only just before the Super Bowl. Ten times more orders than their biggest in the past. It's a very involved process. I've had an opportunity to kind of like just grow my network. Mark Harris already credits the Super Bowl with at least a 25% spike in sales these past few months. <laughs> Everything from tables and chairs to pens and paper, vendors have turned to abundant office solutions in North Minneapolis for their needs. It's one of those things that you hope will come true, right? And then when it finally does, then you're kind of like, oh, it's going to be a lot of work, but everyone's excited. Case Staffing Solutions in Eden Prairie got the job to hire 500 people for the event billed as the next best thing to the Super Bowl. We were awarded uh, the Super Bowl experience. Ten days inside the Minneapolis Convention Center of things like player autographs and football clinics for kids. It's exciting to showcase what we do well here in Minnesota and to put our best foot forward. As the countdown continues with the hope their names carry over long after the Super Bowl 52 play clock stops. Now numbers from the most recent Super Bowl in Houston show Business Connect vendors pulled in anywhere from a couple thousand dollars to more than one hundred thousand dollars, totaling about three million dollars altogether in work. Frank, good. Let's hope we get the same effect here. Yeah, we do. All right, thanks, Liz.